Mike Rogers, uh, you were a Republican member of the House for a long time. Why is the NRA, the National Rifle Association, so influential, so powerful, and all these uh, other groups that have been formed to try to beat back the NRA, they so far have been so much less successful? Well, a couple of things on this, Wolf. Uh, and one of the reasons that the, the, the president disappoints, I think, so many Americans is this was an opportunity to bring people together. That inflammatory language, and it's designed to be inflammatory about the gun lobby. I won't question people's motives, but that horrible gun lobby, that is designed, that's language designed to divide Americans. And that's what's so frustrating for me. I, I was an FBI agent in Chicago, Wolf. I kicked in doors for gangbangers in that city, went after drug dealers in that city, went after fugitives in that city. Nothing that was proposed today will deal with any of that. And so frustration for folks like me that thought, hey, this is a great opportunity for the president to bring people together. There's a bipartisan mental health bill working its way through Congress. They were nowhere included in this. And it's designed that way. That's what's so frustrating. So it's not about that being a strong lobby. Every time the president gives a speech on this, gun sales go up. And so there's a bunch of Americans out there that are very, very concerned about their ability, their Second Amendment rights to use guns lawfully, hunting and other things, protection. And so what you have to do is separate all of that. The president missed this opportunity. He said he wasn't going to be political, this shouldn't be political, and then he attacks Republicans. He said he won't question people's motives, and then he attacks the gun lobby, which, believe me, sends people in Republican districts all over the country absolutely into orbit. Why would you do that on an issue where there is a level of consensus? If he'd have taken 70% of what he has proposed today, and by the way, this won't do a whole lot, but if he said 70%, let's come together, let's stand together on a stage and say, we're going to do these things. We're going to hire these FBI uh, officers to do quicker background checks. We're going to engage in this discussion. America would be cheering. We would be moving the ball forward. This was not designed for that. That's why I'm so angry and disappointed at what I saw today from the president. Let me let Dan Pfeiffer react to that. Go ahead, Dan. Well, look, I think um, it would be nice if, if Mike was right that if he did that there was a way to bring people together on this he has tried that the republican proposal here is not do something it's do nothing on guns we, that they will never touch them that's the position of the gun lobby position of just about every member of, of the republican just leadership every presidential candidate and so there's very limited opportunities to do anything he is doing what he can okay. and look this isn't going to stop every mass shooting not going to save every life but it will save some and that is worth doing if you're the president of the united states you want to respond, Mike Rogers? Yeah, sure. It's just absolutely not true. Matter of fact, there was a bipartisan bill on gun uh, closing some of the loopholes, and I think there's a path forward on it, but you actually have to sit in the room. And Dan knows that. This, this administration is, and as a member who tried to work with the administration, incredibly difficult to sit in the room and work it out. And that's what yeah, well, I'm angry about it. I was a law enforcement, as I said, I was a law enforcement guy kicking up the doors. I will tell you, there is a path forward on this, but you have to stop the rhetoric. You have to stop this supercharged <clears throat> rhetoric of being political and, and, and condemning people's motives after you've just said you wouldn't do that, and to bring people together. There is about four or five things the president proposed today I think you could get a huge consensus on. Why not start there? Why not go from there and then start working forward and building coalitions on how you might get to another place? But the first thing we have to deal with, Wolf, is this huge mental health issue. What the president proposed was an afterthought. And you saw him shake his finger at people by saying, oh, well, I, I gave $500 billion to mental health. We don't know what that means. But so now go ahead and get on board. That tells me he put no thought in what is the biggest component to gun violence, or at least one of the biggest, two-thirds of suicides. Uh, in, in this particular case, and then the large mass shootings, about 90% of those come from some sort of psychosis, which is being dealt with in a bipartisan bill in Congress. Why not engage in that discussion in this national platform to solve that problem? It didn't happen. To say that Republicans aren't engaged, I think is just wrong, and it's short-sighted, and it tells me exactly why we find ourselves in this spot where the president wants a fight on this in a presidential year. Mike Rogers' point, which is that uh, when you go for huge comprehensive legislation, whether it's on immigration reform, whether it's on gun control, that's when you have the real difficulty of getting the people in the room. And what Mike Rogers was talking about before was that some of the things that the president has proposed today, particularly on mental illness, is actually one of those areas where politicians on both sides have admitted, including Donald Trump, as you pointed out, including Donald Trump, have said, you know, we need to address mental illness. 
And maybe that's a way to start getting people in a room. I don't want to be Pollyannish about this, but maybe that's a way to start getting people in a room, look for areas of agreement, tackle the mental health part of, the, of this, which is such a large part of the problem, and then broaden it. And that's, you know, that's it, it, the, the urge to do these large comprehensive bills sometimes, whether it's immigration or anything else, sometimes stands in the way of starting small, particularly when you have such a partisan environment in Congress, and then growing it out. Yes, we're in a presidential year. Yes, this is a big divide between the parties, but I think, you know, Mike Rogers made a very, a very good point. You know, John, that we live the context.